For this problem, we're going to solve for x and the inequality 5 over x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 1. First, we want to get the right side equal to 0. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides so that we have 5 over x plus 7 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Next, we want to get the two numbers on the left side merged together into one fraction. We're going to do this by using our knowledge that 1 is equal to x plus 7 over x plus 7. So using the common denominator of x plus 7, we have 5 minus the quantity of x plus 7 over x plus 7, which is greater than or equal to 0. Simplifying the fraction on the left side, we get negative 2 minus x over x plus 7, which is greater than or equal to 0. Now we can find the values of x that make the left side of the inequality equal to 0 using the equation negative 2 minus x equals 0. Solving for this equation, we get x equals negative 2. We can also find the values of x that make the inequality undefined using the equation x plus 7 equals 0. Solving this equation, we get x equals negative 7. Now we're going to use this number line to find the values of x that make the inequality a true statement. We're going to do this by plugging in values of x from each region. For x equals negative 8, we have negative 2 plus 8 over negative 8 plus 7, which is equal to negative 6. Since this number is negative, this means that x values less than negative 7 will make the left side of the inequality negative. For x equals negative 3, we have negative 2 plus 3 over negative 3 plus 7, which is equal to 1 fourth. Since this number is positive, this means that x values between negative 7 and negative 2 will make the left side of the inequality positive. For x equals 0, we have negative 2 minus 0 over 0 plus 7, which is equal to negative 2 sevenths. Since this number is negative, this means that x values greater than negative 2 will make the left side of the inequality negative. To make the inequality a true statement, the left side must be greater than or equal to 0. This means that x must be between negative 7 and negative 2. So x ranges from negative 7 exclusive to negative 2 inclusive. And this is the final answer.